What is happening good people of YouTube and welcome back to the Overly Gaming Project. Today's video we are back is Fishing Sim World Pro Tour and this is episode number 33. Well, here we are back in our career mode and we have moved up to the Elite Carp Tour. That's right, we're Elite. Bruh. I mean, you can't say that about many things. I mean, what other things in this world can you describe as Elite? I mean, maybe cheese curls. No! I mean, that's an Elite snack right there. Leave in the comments down below, what is your Elite snack? And uh-oh, looks like we have a problem. We're missing a main sponsor here for the Elite Carp Tour. So we have to pick someone that's willing to go right front and center on our chest. Let's take a look at what we got. Right away, I see a contender. It's free spirit fishing. I mean, if there's something that describes us, it's a free spirit fisherman. I mean, we just walk along, cast our line out there. We don't care what kind of fishes we pull out of the water. Did I just say fishes? That's not the plural fish. Whatever, look, I failed 10th grade English. Don't, don't blame me. But seriously, free spirit fishing. It's gonna be our main sponsor going forward. We're gonna accept that deal. There it is, free spirit fishing right on our chest. Now we still have Delcom, they have one event left and we might have to up their contract as well because they pay out some pretty good money. And all the other sponsors look like they're going to be on for a little while. Maybe the Cart Bible and three events might have to change them up or renew their contract. We'll see as the season goes along. Well here it is, the standings for the Elite Carp Tour. And there's a lot of names there. I don't really know any of them. I'll tell you what, they're looking at number 47, Marv Wait. He's going to have to wait his turn to be at the top of the list. Wow, that guy's horrible. And look at that, number 93, Sam Cheatham. I mean, there he is again. Let's hope he's not going to try and cheat his way to the top of the list. <laughs> and my man, number 91, his best friend of mine, Johnny Walker. <laughs> you know it, I know it, everybody knows why. Let's not talk about it. All right, getting right into these events. We skipped the Corda Elite Invitational. Why, you ask? Because it doesn't count in the grand scheme of things. It's just practice and to get some money. And we got enough money. We got like, I don't know, a couple million bucks, I think. I don't know. We're, we're rich. So we are going to jump right into the Ostrike Classic. I'm probably saying that wrong. It's probably like Oosterreich. Oosterich. I don't know. I don't speak German. Although I did take German in high school. And I flunked it. Mm. Well, we are back on the water at Bird Sea. It's three rounds, 20 minutes, sunrise. The weather is dynamic. Let's see if we can get out there and whoop up on all the other fishermen. All right, here we go for this event. We are going to pick the top spot here in the middle. I don't know why. Just looks like a pretty spot, and that's what we're doing. Hello and welcome to the venue for the next event on the tour. While the competitors are getting ready for the action to begin, let's take a look at the rules for today's event. All right, the rules are pretty simple for all the rounds. It's the total weight of carp that you can put in the bucket. And let's get out on the water and smack all the other fishermen right in their faces. All right, here we go. Round one, three, two, one, let's go. It's the first tournament on the Elite Carp Tour. And if this is your first time to the channel, welcome. If you've been here before, then welcome back. Don't forget, subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and hit that like button and uh, subscribe and the, the whole thing. Just do everything you gotta do. I mean, you know what to do, just do it. All right, taking a look at our rods. Tiger nuts, <laughs> uh, nutrient bottom baits and the scent from hell. Let's cast them on out and see what they do. All right, rod number one, just right out in the middle of the water. Here we go, 100% cast strength. Pew, bloop. All right, that's gonna be sitting on some rocks. I don't know whether that's good or bad. All right, rod number two. Rod number two, nutrient bottom base, fine. We're gonna cast that right alongside of it. Pew, bloop. Oh man, that's sitting on some rocks too. There we go, we're gonna pull it in so it sits on some weeds. And rod number three, the scent from hell. Hey, look. Why not throw it out there right along with them? 
100% cast strength. Bomb it out there. Bloop. And that's going to be sitting in the silt. All right, here we go. Rods are in the water. And oh my God, look, right off the bat, rod number one going crazy. It's the tiger nuts. <laughs> I'll pick it up, reel it in, and bam, fish on. Just like that, with just a couple minutes gone in the tournament, fish is on the line. Knock, knock, who's there? It's a fish. Oh, we are raising the drag up to 40. Let's bring it on in. And let us hope that this is a nice sized big ass fish. I mean, I know fish don't have asses, per se, but we kind of hope they do have a big ass. Right here. It weighs a lot. Oh, look at that. It's a carp. That's a big ass carp. Don't snap the line here. Let's hold him. Looks like a common carp of sorts. He is feisty. Boy, he is pulling and fighting. Now, why don't you stop it, fishy? Come on in the bucket. That's a big, fat looking fish here. Oh, here he comes. Get in the bucket. Oh, look at this. That's a pretty average sized carp. I mean, we're on the Elite Tour. I thought they would be bigger than this. 18 pounds, 7 ounces. It's a common carp. Put him in the bucket. Wow, just like that, we're on the board. Let's go ahead and cast this rod right back out there. All right, 92% cast strength. Bloop. Oh, it's on the rocks again. We're going to leave it there. All right, rods are in the water. We're in 18th spot. Wow, looks like Dean Parker. 35 pounds. He must have caught a big ass fish. And now is the time when we wait. All right, we're going to do something different here on the Elite Tour. We're going to take our spod rod and we're going to cast it right out there. And hopefully, the fish will come right to it. All right, here, bloop. All right, spod rod is out. Let's put the rod down to rod number two, going crazy. Here we go. Nutrient bottom baits. Let's pick up the rod, start reeling in the slack, and. Oh, bam, fish on. Fish is on. Knock, knock, who's there? It's another fish. And this feels like kind of a heavy fish, although he's coming in. Oh, look at him. He's coming up to say hi. How you doing, fish? Come on in the bucket. Oh, man, look at rod number three going crazy, too. We're going to have to reel this fish in pretty quickly so we can get to rod number three. And we've got the drag set at 40. Don't want to break the line here. Boy, this fish is tough. Stop fighting the fish. You know you can't fight it. There's a hook in your face. I mean, look, if fish... Oh, here he comes. Oh, wow, that is a big, smooth-looking fish. It kind of looks like a softball. It's a softball fish. Nope, it's a leather carp, 21 pounds, 10 ounces, on the nutrient bottom baits. Put him in the bucket. Oh, my God, rod number one and rod number three going crazy. We're going to grab rod number three, the scent from hell, start reeling in, and bam, old oh, fish on. Fish on. Knock, knock. Who's there? It's another fish. We're going to raise up this drag to 40 again. And this fish is, boy, he is 57 yards out, and he is not coming in. I mean, this fish is just sitting, and this seems like a real big fish. All right, come on in here, fishy. You swim by all your friends. Wave goodbye. You'll be back at the end of the tournament. We'll throw your big butt back in there. Oh, look at him. That's a big old fish. Come on, fishy. We are up in the seventh spot here, and we got to get this fish in because rod number one Still going crazy. Oh, that's a big fish. If fish had opposable thumbs, I mean, we'd be in trouble because they could reach up and remove the hook, but they don't. They got these little fins, and they can't reach up to their face and pull the hook out, and that's great. Oh, come on. Look, this fish is two feet in front of us. We can't get it. I mean, he's fighting. Grab the net. Somebody help me. Oh, here we go. Here he comes. Wow. That is a nice, big, common carp. And just look at this cute little face. 27 pounds on the scent from hell. Put him in the bucket. Oh my God, rod number one still out there. Hurry up and grab it. Boy, it's a ways away. Start reeling in the slack and bam, old fish on. It is 80 yards away. And wow, we're in first place over Anthony Needs. Looks like, looks like he's going to need to go home and cry to his mama because we're going to pull this fish in. He's really going to be screwed. All right, we got this fish 72 yards out, and this is a big fish, I can tell. 12 minutes left to go in the tournament, and we already have a few fish in our bucket. We are gonna need another bucket, I feel like. And I just realized that while I'm recording this, all of the windows in my living room are open, and my neighbors can hear everything I'm doing. Oh, oh man, I'm gonna have to shut the windows. 
Oh, here we go. Oh my god, that's a huge ass fish. First name Hugh, last name Jass. It's Hugh Jass. Oh boy, this fish is just not happy. Oh, here he comes. Oh my god, look at the size of that fish. Holy crap, I can't hardly hold it. It's 32 pounds. It's a mirror carp on the tiger nuts. <laughs> oh, put them in the bucket. Well, my goodness, all three rods did their jobs. Let's put them back out. Well, here we go, bombing it out there. Rod number one, 95% cast strength, but bloop, right on the rocks. All right, rod number two, nutrient bottom baits, fine. We'll cast it out there just the same way. 95% cast strength. Talk about consistency in casting. That's us. All right, and rod number three. Oh, 100% cast strength. That's pretty good. Bam, right there in the silt. Put the rod down. All right, and here we go with the spod rod, and we're going to cast this right out there. Hopefully, it'll track some fish to our other rods. All right, so we got the spod rod out there. We got the other rods out there sitting in a nice little line. All the carp swimming around like, hey, Look at this delicious food that just so happens to pop up in our environment. Do you ever wonder if fish create social bonds like human beings do? Like, do they have other fish friends? Do they have like a hierarchy of friends? Like, do they have a best friend and like some kind of close friends, maybe some coworker friends? And then there's those friends that we all have. You know, you got them, I got them, everybody's got them. That you say they're your friend, but you really don't like to hang out with them. I wonder if fish have that going on as well. Let me know in the comments below what kind of friends do you think fish have? Oh, there we go. Rod number three, the scent from hell. Looks like a fish has taken a hold of it. Let's reel in the slack and bam, old fish on. Fish is on and this seems like it's another big fish. We are still in first place with 100 pounds of fish. Second place, Tom Gibson with 97. Jerry Bridger in third with 95th. Oh, here we go. Look, here's a nice big old fish right here. He's coming up to say hi. Hi, how you doing, fish? Come on in the bucket. All your friends are in here. And they want you to come join them. Come join the party. And then you two will have war, t war stories to tell as you go back in your environment after the tournament. You can tell all your friends, man, I was in a bucket. I know, your friends are going to be like, man, you survived the bucket. Oh, here we go. Here he comes. Wow, another nice sized fish. Looks like a common carp. It is 26 pounds. We've reached level 58. I guess that's pretty good. It's a 26 pound, 5 ounce fish on the scent from hell. You know what we got to do? Put him in the bucket. All right, rod number three. We got to get this thing back out there. 100% cast strength. Bombing out. All right, we're there. They are our rods. One, two, three. Shame we're not allowed more rods. I mean, they should probably take a rod away from us to make it fair for the competition. Ho <laughs> ho. All right, here we go. Here's that spot rod again. We're going to throw this right on out there. All right, 100% cast strength on the spot rod. The blue. All right, I'm not sure if we're supposed to hold the spot rod or well, I don't know what we're supposed to do with it. We're going to reel it in a little bit. I think I cast it really far. We're going to try and set it right by these other baits here. And then we'll put the rod down. There we go. Well, now's a good time to take a look at our tackle. There's our bag, our baits. Got a live well for some live baits, maybe. I'm not sure what's in there. And then there's the weird little sleeping bag. And I'm not sure what that's for. Perhaps we have a dog, and the dog likes to sleep on it. Or maybe, maybe it's for a small child. I'm not sure. It's kind of weird. But let's not lose focus of these rods out in the water. Rod one, rod two, rod three. They're just sitting there again. Two minutes and 40 seconds left in the tournament, and we are in first place by six pounds. This is a tight competition. Sam Childs in second place. Dan Levy in third. No doubt, Sam Childs, if he loses his tournament, he's going to act like a child. Oh, here we go. Looks like rod number three going crazy. It's the scent from hell. Pick up the rod. One minute, 45 seconds left. Start reeling in the slack. Bam! Oh, fish on. Fish on here right at the last minute and 30 seconds. And we got to bring this fish in. 
we are only six pounds of fish in front of second place. And this looks like a pretty nice fish. Not the biggest fish we've ever caught, but it's a nice fish nonetheless. All right, here he is, the big white fish. Maybe it's the mysterious ghost carp. Not sure. But we got a minute to bring it in. I think we can do it. Oh, here he comes. He's right in front of us. Grab the net. Oh, there he is. It's a beautiful white, yellow kind of carp. Maybe it's the yellow carp. It's a ghost carp. Oh, oh I told you. 19 pounds, 9 ounces. Ooh, scary ghost carp. Put him in the bucket. Wow, I don't even know why we're casting this rod back out there. 30 seconds left. And that is putting us a little bit further ahead in first place. 145 pounds of fish right now. Well, there it is, the end of the round. 145 pounds and 13 ounces of fish. First place, we got two more rounds to go. I have a good feeling about this. All right, here we go. Round two, three, two, one. Let's get back to the water. Here we go, back to the water. And it's the same spot we were just at. I mean, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Here we go, we've claimed our peg. Same rods, same reels, same baits, same everything. We're gonna even cast them out to the same place. Here we go, 100% cast ranks for rod number one. Shoo! All right, here goes rod number two. Right back out there. Well, rod number three, 100% cast strength. Bombing on out there. All right, and now we're going with the spod rod. And we're gonna cast that out there as well. All right, I'm pretty sure I put the spot rod a little too far in front of our baits, but we're gonna see what happens. And right off the bat, we have slipped down to fifth place. Oh, rod number three going crazy. Pick it on up, it's the scent from hell. Start reeling in the slack. Oh, bam, fish on. There is a fish on. And this fish is moving pretty quickly. Don't know how big it is. It's probably a smaller carp. I hope it's not one of those tenture bream. Because you know what we're going to have to do? We're going to have to punch him in the face. Nobody likes that. Oh, that's definitely a carp. I can see it. I can see it now. And this carp is feisty. He does not like the fact that he's got a hook in his face. There he is. He's coming by to say hi to everybody. How you doing, Mr. Carp? Or Mrs. Carp? Oh, here he comes! All right, there we go. It's a nice carp. Pretty average size. It's a leather carp on the scent from hell. 17 pounds, 15 ounces. Put him in the bucket. All right, rod number three, we're going to do something a little bit different. I'm seeing some activity right here in front of us. And we are just going to toss this rod out there just a little ways. Bloop. There we go. All right, rod number three now sitting right where the activity was. Now the spot rod is over by rod number one and rod number two. Hopefully that'll help, not sure. Back up into first place with 163 pounds of fish. That's a lot of weight. I'm not sure how we're gonna carry our bucket. Perhaps we can get a dolly or some sort of cart. I don't see our bucket down there. Perhaps it's invisible. I don't see it on this side either. Maybe somebody's got it behind us. I'm not quite sure. I don't know how we're going to carry it. All right, 14 minutes left and no takers on these rods. They're just sitting out there all by themselves. And we have slowly slipped down into second place. Now we're down to the third place. Oh boy. And we're going to need to do something here. Because these rods are getting lonely. I mean, nobody wants to have anything to do with them. It's almost like they have some sort of weird disease. And people want to stay far away from them. But they don't have diseases because they're fishing rods. And fishing rods don't have diseases. But the fish don't know that. And they're just staying away from them. And that's rude. And it's very insensitive. And these rods, they've got feelings too. Oh boy, 10 minutes left. And there's activity right in front of us, but nobody's biting on our lines. We have slipped down to 42nd place here. And we got to do something different. All right, rod number three, we've moved it right where we just saw some activity. And rod number two, we're going to fling it out over here. Did see some activity over this way. Oh, rod number three going crazy. Got to get rod number one out there. Here we go, rod number one. Casting it out there. Set it down. Let's pick up rod number three. Boy, that is moving pretty quick for a carp. Here we go. Bam! Oh, fish on. Fish is on, and I don't think carp swim this fast. Oh, it looks like a carp. I'm not sure. Let's bring it on in and see what we got. 
And this just might be a small feisty carp. Who knows? It looks like another ghost carp of sorts. Oh, here we go. Here he comes. Oh, look at that. That's a pretty cool looking carp. I believe it's another ghost carp. It is 18 pounds, 2 ounces on the scent from hell. Oh, scary ghost carp. Put him in the bucket. All right, rod number three. We're going to kick it short. Just like we did, we're back up in the 28th spot here. We're going to need a couple more fish here in order to contend. All right, rods are back out there. Six minutes and 30 seconds left to go. We slipped down to 39th spot here. And I'm not sure. Next round, we are going to have to change it up and go somewhere else.